Okay, so last but not least for our side of the um, of the one day conference for the photographic dialogues, um, I have the pleasure and honor to uh, call my friend Lars Gustafsson from Sweden. He changed his tickets. He comes here every day, every year. Sorry, not every day. <laughs> um, he comes here every year and he changed his ticket so he can be here today with us because as soon as we were able to present the, um, uh, you know, make the last four exhibitions and the conference, it, he was my first phone call. Um, Lars is, um, now I'm going to start using some like, dangerous words here because if you're <laughs> greek and you're a philelene the the art world will like come for your they, they come for blood when you say stuff like that but what does it mean philelene yeah. is like a friend of greece i would say oh okay yeah. yeah so uh yeah they come for blood when you say words the dangerous words when you're not greek though and you are a philelene everyone is very happy <laughs> so i don't understand how these two things are like conflicting like this in that in any case i'm very happy that you love greece and you've been visiting greece for uh, so many years um it's uh, a pleasure to have first of all to know you uh and uh, also a pleasure to uh poke you enough into to start exhibiting your amazing work work once again because lars hadn't exhibited his work for I don't know how many years since since the beginning of the 90s since the beginning of the 90s and his first exhibition since the beginning of the 90s was the exhibition we did last year together at the municipal gallery of uh, of, of corinth um we met completely randomly through alex papayoanu you were common friends right yeah and um I, I just stumbled on your work and i'm like oh my god who is this amazing photographer and how can we reach out and uh, no hoping that uh, you will uh, accept our uh, invitation and we became good friends um we've been talking since like the last three or three years four years something yeah, like three that years. three years yeah three years. i was at santorini the first time we talked i just called him for a casual you know we would like to present your work we ended up talking like two hours on the phone uh you we we all have a lot to learn from uh photographers like uh lars he's also a a professional photographer and uh, uh, let's say uh, art photographer as well and uh, he has a very distinct style he has a very distinct sense of light and composition and he treats uh, his portraits his landscapes and his uh, still lives um, in a very distinct way like you cannot uh, it, it's impossible not to understand that this is a large Gustafsson photograph. If you after this presentation, every time you see one of his pictures, even if it doesn't have his name on it, you will know it's his. And this is a very big accomplishment by itself. So uh, enough from my side. Thank you so much for making the effort to be here with us this year, and for uh, uh, again uh, what I said before, daring to present your work here last year with this completely unknown uh, situation that the whole planet. Uh, went through you were brave enough to come here to present your work and we really appreciate it and we hope that you come to greece for the next 20 years as well I keep will, taking I will, pictures I will. <laughs> all right <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much Lars. i don't actually uh, the thing with me in my pictures is that i don't think i have to so much to say about them actually i i make my pictures the way i have always been doing them. and i think actually uh yeah shall we just start looking at my yeah pictures sure let's do this. this let's do this i think this is better actually that i can comment on them and this is i mean this first 10 or 12 pictures i don't remember now are all still lives and they're actually taken most of them are taken the last two weeks i think this pictures i took this tuesday before i left and this is a very typical picture of me. I mean, it's item that I found somewhere that I, I drag home to my home. The first three pictures are actually taken in, in our kitchen at home. And I also rent still a small studio that I've used for the rest of the pictures. And I take pictures of objects. That is my, my speciality. I take some pictures of landscape. I take some pictures of, of people but that's really rare actually 
So can we just move on to the next? Yes, yeah, Socrates, if you can. All right. So, I mean, this is the way I work. It's very simple, very, very basic pictures and there's no drama, no anger, no nothing <laughs> like that in these pictures. Uh, you can do it by yourself you, if you want to, to speak for the picture. You can paste it yourself if you want. Just press the next button. Yeah, ah, that's that's good. Okay. No, no, you, you, you can do it. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so this, I mean, this is my morning cup of coffee. And, and my one thing I actually do when I work, which I think actually get people quite bored of me, is that I retake, I redo, and I take a lot of time to take a picture. This is a... Uh, this now we are actually have left our kitchen and now we are in the studio instead and this is a thing that i have been now doing for the last last 10 years painting objects gray and putting them together like this these are all pictures i mean this is from from last week i think last week yeah, yeah. And they all look the same, don't they? They look the same. Yeah. <laughs> so you're collecting uh, items. You're a collector. And, yeah, uh, I mean, you... I'm a collector or a hoarder. I don't know. It's it's a fine line. I, okay. I mean, this this is all objects that I found somewhere, and some I painted, some I didn't paint, and I keep them in boxes in in the basement. So these round objects, I mean, there's some metal rings I actually found one day when I was out on my bicycle, more or less on the street, and I picked them up and then I, I used them. How are you? So, um, yeah, there's like a, an issue with the dreaded Zoom, but uh, you said it's boring. Right. You said that this is boring. I have to tell you that I totally disagree with you, and this is the only uh, the only work that I show to my students in Athens at the Ek Delta, and they fall in love with still life photography. They are absolutely bored with it until I start showing them your work, and oh, then nice suddenly idea. they are interested. So yeah. I totally disagree <laughs> about the boring part. Yeah. But I mean, my my work process is actually kind of boring because I I put up these objects. I have these two objects. I try to make a picture, and then. I return to this picture for maybe two or three days, moving the things around, changing the light, looking at the shadows, try to find a way that they interact, that they maybe talk to each other, some interesting form emerging between them or something like that. So it's, I mean, every one of these pictures are retaken at least two or three times. It's something that we've we've been talking a lot uh, between us, and I I don't know we, what parts were public and what private, so maybe I repeat myself. Yeah, but I, I have I um, don't have a private life. So yes, I can tell no, I'm, no, I'm just um, uh, interested in uh, in how you separate your commercial work with your private work, and this is something that, for example, we would see in uh, the work of um, um, let's say like famous. Uh, uh, studio photographers that also did, uh, you know, their own projects. Like, how do you separate? Do you do you have a switch between your professional work, your um, commercial work, and your artistic work, or you have a similar approach to it? I kind of have a similar approach to it, but no one will pay me for spending two days <laughs> taking the same picture. I mean, that is unfortunately impossible. <laughs> So, I mean, most of the work I, I do, you don't want to see because it's kind of boring. I mean, I, I worked for the auction company for many years and I've worked for art dealers. I worked for, for whoever pays me. And that is nothing that actually is like this. It's more taking quick pictures of objects. I make some interior for, for magazines sometimes. And I mean, it's... It's a it's a different world. My private work are for the last two or three years only black and white. My commercial works are only in color. 
Mm -hmm. that, that is actually for me a, a separation. A separation, yes, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I've, I've seen this one. It's really nice. The textures, it's all about the textures and yeah, some of them. It's all about yeah. actually the, the way the light meets the material and what happened. And there are the rings again. I mean, I reuse stuff over and over and over again. And uh, the sense of balance, like many sculptures, like uh, some modern um, modernist sculptures have used this uh, balancing dance in their work. Yeah. It, it's becoming more and more and more apparent in your pictures lately. At least I don't know if you've noticed that. It's something I always have done, actually, trying to make. And here, here we quickly switch to something else that is out of the studio, and that is the picture of landscapes. I'm constantly carrying a camera, and this is actually these two first pictures are Greece from Greece. And this is also from Greece. And this is, I mean, when I take these two pictures, the last two we just saw, I mean, this is places that I return to over and over and over again and take many pictures of the i mean especially the the one was was before the boat uh if you go back this is a place i have passed for the last 10 years mm -hmm. and taking pictures of not every time but but quite often and this i think is from 2019 and then I, next week I will be at this spot again, and I'm sure I will take <laughs> I will take more pictures. And this is Sweden. I mean, the, the cold, the dark uh, country. And this is also, I mean, places I have returned to a couple of times, retaking these pictures. And I don't have many pictures of bathtub in the in the nature that I had. It's a common way for farmers in Sweden to give water to the to the cows and horses actually that you have a bathtub that you fall filled with water and they are standing everywhere in the countryside. Someone has already made a book about it so I will not do that. <laughs> This is also a common thing that returns over and over again. I mean, the, the road going out of the picture. This is, uh, this is actually, now we're into the more spontaneous pictures, the, the kind of walk around photography that I, I also practice. And this is also a random picture from, from a German art museum. This is also just a month ago in Austria. And this actually, it, this is kind of a rare occasion that I take pictures of people, but it actually do, do happen. It's something that if someone asks me for, I mean, doing it commercially, I always says no, because I I'm, I'm, don't think I can make those pictures so quick. I mean, this is my daughter uh, taking hundreds of pictures and portraits of her. The, the one guy before us is, is a colleague of mine. And this is actually, this is kind of, of interest. Is, this is one of the few snapshot portraits I ever taken that I, I'm, I'm kind of satisfied with. It's a guy I usually meet on, on Donusa when I'm there. Prosper. The island of Donusa is your favorite destination or one of your favorite it's destinations. It's one of my favorite yeah. destinations so far. We will see. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that portrait of the Italian guy, I mean, I just put up my camera and took, I think, two or three exposures of him. And that, I mean, that's nearly hardly ever happened to me that I get satisfied with the first try like this. Yeah, so this is it. Lars, thank you so much. Thank you.
It's always a pleasure to, to have you with us. Uh, it was an honor to, to present your work last year. I really hope that we keep seeing new things from you from now on. I, I would love to see an exhibition of your work in Athens at some point. Uh, yeah, you, you know, we, we, can, we, sure we will do. That. I got you. I got yeah. you. Okay. So, no, uh, but um, the, the point is that it's, uh, it's really important for... Um, you know, Greek photographers to 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 be aware of your work. It's a study of light. It's a study of form, and uh, you know the the meticulous way you revisit shapes, objects, places. Uh, it, it's really something that uh, uh, makes your work very very unique. Uh, I don't know if we have any questions. Αν έχετε κάποια απορία, ακόμα και στα ελληνικά μπορούμε να μεταφράσουμε αν θέλετε για τον Lars. Okay, so Lars, thank you so much once thank you. again. Thank and, you. Uh, welcome back.